on YouTube and today I want to talk to you guys about a very interesting find that I've made. I have discovered what I think is a solution to the issue with importing videos to um, Adobe Premiere Pro after recording the gameplay footage on OBS. Now this is mainly going to be uh, tailored towards those of you that like me um, record your, your you know make uh, game videos for your YouTube gaming channel. So what I have discovered is that um, in my findings, a lot of people um, um, on the internet were saying to use a program called Handbrake. And Handbrake transcodes the video from the variable frame rate to the constant frame rate. So that way you don't have that audio video out of sync issue when you import it into Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, Adobe Premiere Pro, um, and I know others have, of you have had this issue with earlier versions of Adobe Premiere. I felt like using Handbrake as a workaround, I guess it works for some people, but my issue with it was I didn't like how it was uh, consuming um, all of my CPU and doing so for extended periods of time. I record many hours of my gameplay footage and then I scrummage through it in order to make my videos, as I'm sure many of you probably do the same thing. So. What I discovered is, and what's worked for me, is what I'm about to show you right now. So, right now I'm recording this with OBS, all right? So, here I'm gonna show you my settings. And uh, real quick, if you're wondering why my screen um, looks the way it does, I have the uh, LG 29 inch ultra wide monitor. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I set up to record my videos and what's now working for me flawlessly. So come down here to my settings and look in the output. And just so you know, this video is for OBS Studio. I have not tested this with regular OBS. Normally, output mode is set to standard. Okay, so you're going to want to set this to advanced. Go over to recording. And you're going to change your type to, or I'm sorry, the output mode is normally simple. So change to advanced. Your type is going to be changed from standard to custom output. You see here it says custom output in parentheses it says FFmpeg. Yeah, F, yeah, FFmpeg output type, output to file. I have not tested it with output to URL. I imagine that has to do more with like RTMP servers. So if you have like a computer in your house or server in your house where you're able to stream your feeds to or something or like that, that you can use to record and things like that. I think it's a more advanced thing that um, some people might use, but for most of us, that's not what we're utilizing. So just put it to output to file, and then your file path, the URL, set it to wherever you want it to go as far as your hard drives go. Container format, now here's uh, where I discovered what worked. A container format, I set to MP4, and normally it's set to uh, the default format, all right? And we don't want that because default format is gonna be the um, H.264 format. and as most of you have discovered in your research, like I have, that that is mainly what's causing these audio sync, uh, these audio video sync issues. All right, so we're gonna change that to MP4. And now the video bit rate, I have it set to 10, to 10,000 um, for when I'm uh, rescaling my output to 720p, I use 10,000. Um, I'm gonna try using 15,000 when I record um a video um in 1080p now video encoder um it's mpeg4 default encoder and then down here your audio encoder leave it as aac the default encoder as well for audio now the only downside i see to this um as of now is i can only record one audio track at a time i have yet to test out whether or not there's another uh, container format that would allow me to record multiple tracks of audio and still keep the uh, audio and video in sync but right now this is sufficient enough for me um, and in case you guys were wondering some other things uh, some other uh, variables my uh, computer specs are i7-6700k uh, CPU um, my GPU is a gigabyte R9 390. I have that on top of um, an Asus Z170-AR motherboard with 16 gigabytes of RAM powered by a 750 watt power supply. So that's my specs for what I use. And as far as CPU usage goes, 
I'm using anywhere between 9 and 15% when I'm recording these videos with these settings, which is okay with me. Um, because normally when I'm playing a game, it's using anywhere from 30 to 50% of my CPU. I encourage you guys to mess around with this and see what else you can find. I really think this is the biggest thing I found that nobody else um, tried in the videos I've watched was to change the type to custom output, allowing you to change the container format of your videos. And like I said, this has worked for me. I'm not sure uh, how your results will be, but I would really love to know um, if this works for a lot of you guys or if you run into any other issues. And let me know in the comments section what you find. I think this is a really big deal and I hope that this helps a lot of you guys. It saves a lot of time and it allows us to do exactly what we're trying to do when we make these videos, which is just record them, then import to them Adobe, and then just edit them. Please like and share this video if it's uh, helped you. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.